Hello and welcome, I'm Tavleen Kaur from Build Woo Funnels and in this video I'm talking about how to upsell subscription-based products using upstroke one-click upsells. Well now you have two options here, you can sell, uh, you can upsell simple subscriptions and you can upsell variable subscriptions. So I will show you both the options. First of all, what you need is uh, your WooCommerce subscriptions plugin. So this is the official subscription plugin and Upstroke offers full compatibility with the subscriptions plugin. And the second thing that you need is Upstroke's add-on, which is a subscriptions add-on. Once you have both of these, you will be able to unleash the power of subscription-based products and one-click upsell them. So as you can notice, this is a subscription based product and it is actually a variable subscription. So we've got uh, three variants to it, right? Uh, the first and you can set up everything here, all the details regarding the subscription of this product. So these are three variants of this product and you can simply uh, sort of expand this and set up everything like the sign up fee, the free trial if you have, the subscription price, and the frequency of renewal, whether you want to, whether it's a weekly renewable, renewal or a monthly or a yearly renewal. So you can set this up here. You can set the price here, the expiration date, you know, so all the details related to expiry, so on and so forth. If you're offering a discount, then the sale price and all of that. Now, this is going to be really useful to you. Uh, for example, let's say you're selling an information product and when they buy the basic variant, uh, they get the, the membership to the accountability group, right? Where they can post questions, get their answers, so on and so forth. But when they buy, let's say the mid variant, the, in addition to the accountability support group membership, they also get one-on-one -on -one calls with you every week or every two weeks, right? Uh, just to update the, update you on their progress and get feedback from you. So that could be a case where it's a variable subscription based product. Uh, now let us see what you have to do in Upstroke. All right, now this is a variable product, but this is not a variable subscription. So as you'll notice, uh, there is no option. There's no mention about subscriptions here, but let's just delete this product. All right, so now we're going to go and add new product. And this is the subscription product that we're now going to add so that you can see the option that appears because of the subscription add-on of Upstroke. All right, so here you go. As you can notice, this is the variable subscription. You can set up a discount, uh, quantity, flat shipping, so on and so forth. These are the three variants of this product. And you've got everything here, uh, right? The price and you can set discount at the variant level. Now, this is the setting that I was talking about. As you noticed, it did not appear in, in the variable product, but it's actually visible in the subscription product. So it says by default, the discount applies to first charge for subscription. Check this box if you want to apply discount for all future recurring payments. Well, so just as this line says, if you want that the discount should be applicable on future on uh, on all future recurring payments, then you must check this box. Then they will be able to renew their subscriptions at a discount. Otherwise, well, you can just uncheck it and the discount will only be applied on their first purchase. So when they first time purchase it, the discount will be applicable and not on uh, the recurring payments, not on renewals. Well, so that's about it. That was subscription product for you. You can uh, set up simple subscription products or variable subscription products and one click upsell them now with Upstroke. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. I will be more than happy to take them up for you.